Uh, well, hi everyone, it's uh, David again. Um, I've got a new tool which I uh, want to sort of show you. Um, you may have already seen um, a couple of the, I guess, advertising or promotional videos uh, on uh, on my channel, on my store, uh, for the uh, for the new sanding device. Um, what I want to do is uh, do an unboxing and actually show you how uh, how it actually works uh, works for real. Um, as I think the videos uh, that uh, that the supplier had sent uh, give a very good idea of uh, what sort of actual, what what the actual device uh, you know, could do. But let's have a look at it sort of in uh, in practice, uh, if you like. Let's uh, let's see if we can actually um, uh, do some do some sanding and uh, let's see how the device actually uh, actually performs. So, what I'm talking about is uh, is this guy, uh, the uh, reciprocal sander, um, which um, uh, Display have uh, have designed. Um, again, uh, very high quality uh, in their packaging. Uh, they've really gone to town with uh, with this one too. Um, I guess underline how how good um, they uh, they feel this uh, this device is. Um, I think many of them have, al have already bought uh, bought this. Um, I think uh, uh, it sold out uh, in about uh, I think it was about two hours when I when I loaded the first uh, first lot of stock. Uh, more is coming. Um, it'll be a stock item on the store constantly. So um, if you uh, didn't get it uh, the the first time, uh, you know, do sign up for automatic auto uh, automatic emails. Um, you'll find the box on the uh, actual device's um, uh, product page itself, and then you'll get an automatic email when I load uh, the stock. But um, this will be on the store you know, constantly, so um, hopefully everyone that wants one uh, will get one. Um, will get one eventually. Um, the the supplier I think has now has got lots of stock. Initially they didn't really have many, uh, but I think they've um, they've kind of realised that uh, this is uh, this is going uh, going extremely well across uh, across all well all all countries really are selling these. Um, so I think they want to keep it in stock um, uh, constantly. So let's get out of the box and uh, we'll see uh, what uh, what this sander actually looks like. If I can get it out of its sleeve, so I'll leave that uh, leave that there. Uh, so it comes in a, uh, an outer sleeve uh, and an inner sleeve, which gives you all the information about the different um, uh, sanding heads uh, which you uh, which you can get. Um, all of these are are, are in the box. Uh, it also gives you some information about how you can change the uh, color scheme on the, the on the device as well. Um, other side, uh, it gives you even more information uh, about the lighting setups, which I'll, I'll show you in a second. Um, whether you want to change these, it's entirely up to you. Um, and then all the power um, information, which is uh, which is on the um, on the bottom. Um, this thing runs uh, USB. You can charge this from any USB uh, socket, five volts. Uh, so if you've got a mobile phone charger, for instance, that's absolutely fine. Um, it runs off uh, one amp, so it should be absolutely fine with all of the um, uh, phone chargers. If you want to power this thing or even recharge it from uh, you know, from a, a phone recharger block. Um, in uh, in my workshop, I've got uh, sockets for USB and also for you know for you know, for other devices. So you can just plug that in, and away it goes. What they're saying is uh, to get, um, I think it's 100, uh, 100 minutes of uh, use time. It's about 20 minutes to, to fully charge this. So 20 minutes to fully charge. Um, I think that's not under load. So if you've charged this thing, then you're not going to use it. Um, it should give you 100 minutes, but obviously it depends on how you use it, how much uh, energy and power uh, you use. But uh, once it runs down, it's 20 minutes to get it back to back to full, uh, full charge. So the... In a, in a sleeve reveals uh, Dispay's usual um, uh, box uh, design, which is what uh, they've sort of standardised on these days. Uh, this uh, sort of frosted um, you know, plastic top with uh, their uh, trademark uh, red um, uh, red bottom to all the boxes. Um, you'll find you'll find this kind of uh, packaging pretty much in everything that uh, Dispay uh, are selling these days. Um, yeah, it's high impact plastic, so you know it's it's uh, it's going to keep your your device in uh, in good condition if you want to store it in here, of course. Um, uh, a lot of people won't, of course, so they uh, they might uh, do what I do, which is I store all my tools uh, in uh, zip components, um, which is just so I can reach for it, but entirely up to you. But uh, the box is uh, is good and sturdy. So let's have a look at what we get in the in the box. So uh, what we get is the uh, obligatory uh, uh, pack of uh, stickers. Uh, so when you do put uh, one of these sanding heads uh, uh, onto your machine, um, you can identify uh, you know which uh, which sanding uh, grit it is by sticking uh, one of these on. You also get two packs of um, sanding um, pads themselves. Uh, let me just show you one of these first. Let me just get one out of the out of the uh, the box. As I said, they're all pre-cut. 
because obviously there's different sizes and different shapes of heads uh, for, for this device. Uh, so they're supplying uh, pre-cut sandpapers. Let me just bring one very close to the camera. So you can see how all the different shapes are already pre-cut into each of the uh, different uh, grits. So you literally just uh, peel one of these off, this little self-adhesive, and you can stick it uh, stick it straight uh, straight on. Uh, I think I I tested it. Yeah, I tested it with a, a 180 uh, grit, you know, a very coarse uh, coarse grit. And you can see how how these just literally just pull pull off and uh, and uh, stick uh, stick straight on. Uh, now speaking of grits, uh, let me just give you a list of what we got. So I was uh, testing it with uh, 180s. You also get uh, a sheet of uh, 280. You got a sheet of 400, a sheet of 600, a sheet of 800, and a sheet of 1000. And uh, 1000 being the, uh, you know, the, I guess the smoothest grit. Uh, it's not quite a polishing grit, um, not quite there. But uh, this device is really designed for not necessarily polishing. It's more about uh, you know sanding. So I think that's what the reason they didn't go all the way to, um, I guess, to the top of there. Uh, sanding um, uh, range, which uh, which is quite fine, which you can use actually for sort of buffing, um, buffing and sort of polishing almost. Um, so this is still fairly fairly coarse, um, but you get the the idea. This is uh, you know one end of the spectrum, a thousand, and the you know the eight the eight hundred is the other end of the uh, other end of the uh, spectrum. Now, as I say, you get two packs of these uh, in their uh, plastic uh, plastic bag. Let's put those uh, let's put those down for uh, for for a second. Um, let's leave those let's leave those there. Now then, let's go to the the main event, shall we? So let's uh, let's unpack uh, let's unpack the actual device uh, device itself. So it comes in this protective uh, protective wrapper. So that way. So that is um, the elusive shadow, as they've decided to uh, to dub this. Uh, this is the uh, the actual standing pen uh, pen itself. Again, it has um, a lot of the uh, the design aesthetics of um, one of their um, uh, grinding pens. Let me just reach for one so I can show you how this looks uh, in comparison. As you see, they they look very uh, very similar from a from a design point uh, point of view. Um, they've used uh, the, their usual uh, sort of red uh, red hue, uh, which is uh, obviously the uh, part of the uh, display's uh, trademark. Uh, now I would say uh, this, unlike the uh, the sanding pen, uh, this is all plastic construction. I believe it's ABS, so it's it's very very tough. You, know, you drop this, uh, you should be okay. But I recommend you wouldn't in case you design, uh, damage the mechanism. Um, but it is uh, it is plastic. Um, they they haven't made a metal body on this, um, but it's absolutely fine. Um, I've been using this for uh, if you know, for a couple of weeks, and sort of in the hand, it's it's absolutely fine. The weight is 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 good. It's, it's nicely balanced. Um, you can do very fine sanding with this um, even at this size you know, it feels like a, a chunky marker pen in the hand um, but th I like that I like the the fact that it's larger so you can hold it um, again big about the ergonomics um, across all of these videos you'll hear that word a, a great deal um, but I quite like that it was it was very very easy to to manipulate in the in the hand now the business end let me just pop the pop the top off I'll leave that uh, leave that there. Uh, as you say, it's got a, an attachment end. Um, that's how you attach all of the uh, the heads, which I'll show you uh, in uh, in a second. Uh, controls wise, that's the uh, on off button. It also controls the uh, three speeds, uh, which are available with uh, with this device. Um, you get a a light, but also a um, uh, I, I guess a, a display light here, which you which you can change if you uh, if you want to. Um, I think I mentioned it on the box, didn't I? Uh, that they have this uh, this idea of um, different kind of lighting effects. If you want to uh, if you want to actually do that, you can change these to all of these different kinds of, of effects um, depending on what kind of color scheme you want. If that's uh, if that's what you uh, that's what you want to want to do. Um, you can also change how this the light actually gives you information. Uh, there's one for power, um, and as I said, there's eight different modes of, of lighting schemes if you want to if you want to change those. And how you do that, uh, there's a uh, there's instructions on the back of uh, back of the box. Now, talking about uh, heads, um, in fact, no, let's talk about power first. As I mentioned uh, it's a USB, and there's the uh, there's the socket on the back. Um, it's uh, USB 3, um, if, if memory serves. Um, yes, it is. So you get a, a, a small uh, charging cable in the box. It's quite uh, quite short, um, but I say if you're going to power this from a block, um, it shouldn't be an issue. Um, what I've uh, I've been doing is uh, using uh, one of Display's own um, 
sand, uh, sand, the, uh, the one that comes before the sander, which uh, oddly enough is, is exactly the same. So I'm using one of these uh, because it's a bit longer. But frankly, anything with um, uh, the appropriate USB on the end, you can charge, uh, you know, charge the, uh, the sander, uh, sander with. But you do get, uh, you do get one in the box. It's, it's to say it's quite short, um, but it should be, uh, should be adequate uh, for, yeah, for, for most, uh, most uses. Now let's uh, let's continue with what's uh, what's actually uh, in the in the box uh, in the box itself. As I say, the the whole idea is that you attach a, um, a shaped head for whatever kind of sanding application you you have. So let's go through what uh, what you actually get in the box. So I'll start with uh, with this one. So what you get is is the attachment itself, which goes obviously the, the uh, let me just put it on the on the device. It's probably be easier to see. So that's how. Uh, it actually uh, assembles. Um, that's how it actually looks when you actually assemble it. So each one of these has got uh, a different shaped, uh, just shaped head. Um, and as I said, uh, there's a space um, uh, here if uh, if you want to put a, a sticker on to identify what um, what grit um, the uh, the head is. And I imagine you guys will probably do what I do: um, get a few packs of these heads. And then have them, um, you know, in a box or, or somewhere on your on your bench, nicely labelled up with the stickers, and then that gives you better workflow when you're actually sanding. So if you want, if you did need to go through various uh, uh, levels of grit, you know, in one session, that's what that's quite useful. Um, you can get, uh, you know, obviously the the replacement heads are are on the store as well. Um, have I got some? Yes, I have, and that's these. Um, again, they'll uh, be a stock item on the store um, constantly, um, but um, I think a lot of people are buying uh, this um, uh, as well as the sanding device and a pack of spare um, spare uh, sanding sheets as well. But I so said what I'm doing is um, once once I've sort of sorted out um, the kind of grits I want to use. Uh, I've just been basically attaching uh, the appropriate uh, grit to to a head and then labelling, labelling it so I can then just reach for the appropriate one when I when I'm doing a session. It just saves um, having to sort of uh, stick on and peel off the other you know, different uh, grits as you as you go. It's just a, for me, it's a better workflow. So that's the uh, that's one that's one of the heads. Let me just take that off and I'll put that back in the box. Uh, you get another flat one, which is uh, much uh, uh, much larger, but uh, still a, a, the sort of square form factor. Then we get into some interesting uh, shapes. Um, there's this one. Let me just show you the end, which is the the curve, which I think many of you will find extremely useful. I'll show you how how this actually performs on, on some uh, some curved uh, curved parts uh, in a, in a minute. You also get um, you know that shape, which is also extremely useful uh, for getting into uh, those sort of V-shaped areas because uh, you never quite know what uh, what shape you want to uh, you want to sand. And of course, that's the that's the whole concept uh, of this device is that they give you these uh, different shaped heads, so you don't have to worry about that. There's a smaller um, curve as well. Which fits on to, uh, on to for, there's, a, there's a sanding paper just for, for that size, uh, that size as well. There's a uh, rectangular shape, like that one. There's a very interested, uh, interesting uh, sort of uh, um, shape with a point on. I find this very, uh, very useful for getting into uh, to tight, uh, tight corners, which have been almost impossible to, to sand um, really up until now. I think. That is very, very useful to try and get into those uh, yeah, nooks and crannies that you really do need to, to sand. Um, that's that's much more useful than trying to say sand with uh, with a rotary, because um, that will not get into into the corners for obvious reasons. Um, whereas uh, you know, this guy, uh, absolutely. And finally, uh, we have um, another uh, shaped uh, oblong one. Um, so you get a very wide range of, of sanding head shapes uh, to to really give you the applications that you need. You know, the, any kind of uh, shape or space that you need to uh, need to be sanding uh, sanding off. So let's get a uh, let's get a sprue in, and we'll do a bit of a bit of sanding. So um, let's let's put something fairly uh, fairly hefty on. So let's uh, now let's let's go with uh, let's go with this one. So we'll go with uh, we'll go with this shape. So on uh, on it goes. So that goes on the on the end. I said that's the on off button. And off it goes. I'm gonna have to talk, talk maybe a little bit louder just so uh, you can hear me over the noise. So let's uh, let's see if we can sand off uh, so this area here here. So let's uh, let's try that. Yeah. 
So that's coming off very, very nicely. As I'm saying, I'm using a one, uh, 180 grit um, to, uh, to, sand, to sand this space. I'm just going to see if I can sand enough off just to get rid of uh, that, uh, that sort of paddle line. Just to give you a, a sort of feel for how, how this actually works, works in practice. And so you can also put a bit of pressure on this. Um, you know, the, the gearing in the motor, you can feel it through. You can see, that, you can see the sprue uh, sort of vibrating as I put more pressure on there. Um, there is a cutoff actually. If you uh, put too much pressure on this to, uh, to save the motor, this will actually stop working. It'll, it'll uh, cut off if you're putting too much pressure on. So it's a little bit of sort of practice to see, match the, the grit that you need uh, to, to remove whatever it is. But you can see the the sky ring is absolutely coming coming off that. Um, yeah, I'm using a sort of side to side. Uh, you can use a sort of rotary motion as well, just to take off as much of that as you uh, as you as you want to. So let me just let me just, let me just uh, stop that. Okay, so let me get to, let me get a brush. So, so that's taken off. Yeah, that's pretty smooth now. That's uh, that's uh, that's taken that off absolutely. So that's that's kind of the application. That's that's absolutely what uh, what you would probably do with most of these applications is to take that kind of um, you know that kind of I guess level of of, of styrene uh, styrene off. Now let me just talk about uh, the actual head uh, uh, the actual machine itself. As I say, um, that's the on off switch. Let me just switch it on again. And you can see the lighting effect. Um, you get, you said, you can change it if you want to. It's absolutely up to you. There's, a, there's instructions on the box. That's off. Now, if you press it again within uh, within a couple of seconds, it'll go to the uh, the, the next level of, of sanding. So that that's its lowest level. That's the next one. You can hear the motor went up uh, went up in pitch slightly. That's off. Oh, that's the second. That's the highest. That's the absolute highest that you can do. So let's try, let's try sanding with that. Uh, you'll get a lot of vibration uh, through your hand, but again, because the, the barrel is, is very, uh, is very ergonomic, you don't feel that you're going to drop it. You know, it's not going to vibrate out of your hand. That's not going to happen, uh, happen at all. Let's just try this. Let's, let's, let's see what that's, that's as high as the actual machine will go from, from a, a sanding perspective. So let's, let's try. And see how that performs. On its, on its highest setting. If you've got lots of this stuff to remove, that's probably the setting you'll want. But I say the first setting, if you're looking for a more precision, um, then the first or second setting is probably what you, you'll use most of the time, unless you've really got to, um, you know, lo lose a lot of material. And, um, you know, you don't want to, uh, uh, maybe go at it with a knife or, you know, uh, risk uh, slipping and, and gouging something out of the surface. So you can actually do that. What I'll also do, I'm going to put some pressure on this, and then you can you can sort of see in here what what ha actually happens. And it, see, then it stops. Uh, it just saves the motor, um, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't really overtax the motor. So if you do put too much pressure on. It'll say sorry, but you you know you you're, put, you're pressing too hard. It'll stop. Then you can just then you can just start uh, start again. I so say that's the lowest. That's off. That's the next one. That's the highest, and that's off. Uh, I think the box actually tells us uh, what what they actually are. Uh, yes, um, the the max pressure uh, on the lowest setting is, is uh, 320 grams. Then it goes to 360 grams, and then 430 grams. Um, and the, the sanding speed on its lowest setting is 2,800 RPM. The middle one is 3,100 RPM, and right at the top is 3,600. Uh, RPM, um, so you get that kind of level of um, you know flexibility. Now let's um, let's put that one aside because I do want to show you um, a couple of other a uh, couple of other heads. Let's just take that one off. Uh, now I did put some on. I say one of these curves, which I think I uh, showed you showed you uh, that curve. Yeah, again, it's got 180 uh, grit on the end, just to um, just to show uh, just to show you. So it actually takes some some of the material off. Because for you guys, you may be taking off very small amounts of styrene, um, so you won't obviously have uh, have lots of it uh, sort of flying uh, flying about. 
So, for instance, uh, you know, these are um, uh, some uh, Tamiya World War II barrels. But I wanted something that was uh, sort of curved so I could sort of get uh, get into, you know, get into uh, some this kind of uh, this kind of area. Um, in fact, what I did was I cut one off. Where is he? There he is. So, for instance, if there was something in this curve, uh, that's very hard uh, to try and do sort of manually. You could do it with a sponge or um, even with a with a stick, but it's not ideal. This is where these guys come into 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 their own because you pick the shape you want, either the large um, curve, and there's also uh, a smaller curve if you wanted to. But let's let's go with let's go with this one for instance. I'll put a, put a, a piece of one eighty on uh, again, and let me switch you on. So the whole idea then, of course, is you can do this motion to take off the take off the, the you know the uh, the amount of uh, style you want in the shape you want. So I do that a kind of backwards or forwards motion, but you can obviously uh, go uh, you know, go with the actual the the, the, you know, the natural reciprocal motion itself. It's entirely up to you. Um, and of course, whatever the application, whatever you're trying to to remove, but you see. It's that level of, of sort of precision again. You get you get the detail. You can actually reach reach those areas uh, where it's just, just simply impossible. Um, and we all know it, it's very very hard to uh, to try and sand uh, any kind of curve, you know, without putting a flat spot um, on it. And uh, you know, these these kinds of um, different shaped heads uh, are the solution. They you know they really are. So this size. And that's, uh, that's taken off uh, a fair bit of that uh, that seam. I said the uh, the pack also comes with a smaller uh, a smaller curved one as well, which uh, again fits fits the uh, the sandpapers. Um, it would be uh, it'll be that uh, that size. Um, now let me uh, let me show you one uh, one final thing, which uh, I again I was looking for a for a sprue, which. Um, which could kind of give me a, a, a space or a shape. Um, so what I've done is, uh, let me grab this one. Let's take that one off. And so what I've done, I'll put a bit of, again, another bit of 180 on this uh, this one, uh, this head with the, with the point on it, which I think could be very, very useful for a lot of applications. So let's put that on. Let's put let's put uh, let's put him on. Okay. So for instance, um, these kinds of shapes. If you wanted to try and sand into into that with something flat nosed, it wouldn't work. Whereas, let me just switch it on. So that, for instance, if you want to get into that space there, you could push this device right into the corner. You can see, I'm following that seam. So if you want to take some uh, some material off and. Obviously, it's not going to work with a flat, uh, a flat-headed um, file or a flat-headed uh, um, any kind of sanding uh, sanding sticks. This guy is ideal because it's pushing forwards and backwards into that space there, to that curve. So it's actually the actual styrene is coming off, but it's coming off actually onto the curve because obviously the forward and backwards motion. It's it's taking that off uh, beautifully. And likewise, if you flip it and you want to get into say that that part there uh right into the corner for for whatever reason you could now you could go into that like that for instance if there was something right in that corner you wanted to get rid of you could absolutely uh absolutely do that um because the shape head gives you that control you know you can go in there um and take off tiny amounts of, of material if, if you want to because of the uh, because of the shaped head, um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's genius, really. Um, you know, the the, mayor, the the number of applications uh, are sort of endless, really. Um, if I let you bring that back over, uh, because there was was something that uh, someone asked me. Um, you know, these sort of mould moulded bits and pieces. You know, these uh, this stuff that uh, appears on lots of parts. Um, a lot of you guys are, are buying. Uh, you know, this guy um, with the uh, circular sanding heads just to remove these. But you can see that um, really on your bench, if you had both of these uh, with a sanding attachment, that's going to cover pretty much all of the bases um you know, this this uh, has its applications absolutely for doing uh, you know things things like that let me uh, let me switch him on and you know you can go in there and take take all that off without any problem because it's uh, it's rotary that takes that all the way off so it's it's literally flat 
And then what I'd do, if there was something else in that corner, which I can't get at, I don't really want to go in there with a craft knife and try and ping it off, you know, with a, with a, uh, with a sharp uh, number 11. This guy, perfect. Because once I've finished, I can go in and just literally nick off whatever's in that corner there. And that gives me the absolute control I'm looking for. Um, you know, I think, you know, you, you scratch builders, I think you'll, uh, you know, absolutely love this thing because it gives you ultimate control of what you're actually standing and what you can take off. Um, particularly shaping things as well. Uh, I'm sure that, um, this device can be used for, you know, for shaping uh, some materials. Um, so that's all of the, uh, you know, all the different kind of heads, um, give you, um, a different, I guess, applications like the, um, you know, this, this sort of what was it, like a, like a small chimney, um, this, the sort of angles, um, you know, small, uh, small roof uh, shape of this kind of thing. Um, you know, the, the list, uh, the list goes on. Um, it's, it's a, it's a bit of a revelation. You might have seen my, my initial, uh, uh video when the, the supplier sent me some, uh, some, some photos of this thing before, um, uh, before they actually, um, announced it, um, to, uh, to the world. And, um, it's kind of lived up to between reputation. Absolutely. It really has. Um, it's, um, it's, it's one of those, I think, step forwards with, um, with devices for model makers, which, which doesn't come along very often. Um, a couple of you pointed out, yeah, there's been something like this around for a while. And I, I do know about that, uh, that device, but it's, it's, um, a lot of these tend to be cables because they run off mains. Uh, they're also very bulky. Um, I, I, I often talk about, uh, you know, this, uh, this sanding pen as, you know, the, as, as more ergonomic and useful than, uh, than a Dremel. Um, because my, yeah, for instance, for me, for instance, I have very small hands. So a Dremel was just unwieldy, which is how this guy came about. Um, and I think that's exactly the same. There's, there's a, there's a couple of these devices which are already, uh, so in the marketplace, but again, they're very large, very bulky and quite heavy. I've tested them all. Um, this guy, it's, it's, it's light. Um, and say again, very ergonomic. I like the, the chunkiness of the pen. Uh, obviously this is right. This is vibrating in your hand. So you want something you can hang on to. Um, the, I think the build quality is absolutely, uh, absolutely fine. Um, the fact that it's not uh, not sort of metal construction, I think, doesn't really matter. Um, the, the they've still made sure that uh, yeah, the, the engineering is absolutely uh, absolutely in place. So that is um, the Illusion Shadow, uh, or the uh, the or I guess the electric grinding, uh, the electric sanding pen, uh, excuse me, um, which is uh, which is on the store uh, store right now. Um, as I said, um, on top of all of this, uh, you can get uh, replacement heads. Um, those are, those are going to be a stock item on the store, so they will be constantly available uh, unless they sell out, which they did in the first instance. And some of you guys are buying sort of packs of these as well. Um, I'm also selling a, a replacement. Um, a sanding um, pack as well that replaces all of the sanding heads in there as an as a complete pack um you can get these again this will be a stock item uh, on the store if you want to get hold of um, any extra any extra packs of, of sanding but you do get uh two in the in the pack uh, as a starter um so that should keep you going for uh for for, yeah, for some time so that's that's kind of where we are. Uh, it, it's it is a revelation. I've been using it for for a while, and um, if if you have an application where you need to do lots and lots of sanding, uh, and I'm I'm really pointing at uh, you, um, you sort of you, 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 anyone that builds their Gundam kits, which have in some cases thousands of parts to sand, um, this guy could uh, absolutely change and revolutionise how you how you make those kits. Um, it's it's going to be a huge time saver. For everyone else, I think it's it's one of those devices which um, you kind of you wonder how you live without it. I think once you started using it, and that's my experience. Um, you know, I've got all the heads set up now uh, with the different grits of paper, all the stickers are on, and it's just it's just a breeze to be able to reach for a sanding head, put the head on, and away we go. Um, it complements uh, manual sanding as well. Absolutely, it's not going to replace manual sanding at all. It isn't. Um, but it is complementary. Uh, the the applications for this are are, are far and wide. Um, but you you'll use this in association with your standard um, go to manual sanders, you know, sticks or, or sanding pads, sponges, whatever. Um, but there will be applications where this guy uh, could uh, could come into come into its own. So that's the, the display um, electric uh, sanding uh, sanding pen. Um, that's uh, that's on the store uh, right uh, right now. Um, as usual, any queries, any questions, uh, do uh, do come back to me.